What's up YouTube? It's First Shift here. And uh, today I've been uh, getting quite a few comments asking how I got uh, the calendar and everything on my springboard. Um, I'll show you here. How to get this where I'd have a calendar and the weather or time on your springboard and go over into your icons. So I figured today I'd show you um, a little sample one how to do this. It's pretty easy. It's really not hard at all. Um, I'll be using my 3G to do this. Um, this is my iPod Touch, but this is one I'm working on right now, as you see. Right there with the lock screen, live calendar, or excuse me, live weather and the clock and everything like that into a clock. So uh, to get this, the first thing I'd want you to do is go to Cydia. I want you to download an application called iBlink. And, uh, show you what that is here. Now once you've installed iBlink, you'll get this right here. If you click on that. And what I want you to do once you've installed this out Cydia is make 16 blank icons. Now that you've done that, I'll show you what you, I want you to do. Uh, let me just highlight them to get them blinking here. If you go to the first page, I want you to put all 16 blank icons on the first page, as you see right here. So just the top springboard undocked icons, make 16 of them, put them on the first page, as you see. And after you've done that, in my more info section, I will have a folder named springboard right here. So, once you've uh, downloaded this and unzipped it to your desktop or wherever you save it, and you click into it, um, this is what it's going to look like here. Now, the first thing I'd want you to do is go up to the private and look for the file named uh, configure me. You can open this with notepad or whatever. So, once you've found that, go ahead and open that. And it's going to bring up a plist file. Now, all I want you to do on the top row, right up here, this top row, I want you to search for something that says var equals, which I'll show you. Var local, as you see right here, var local. And it says equal. In between these parentheses, I want to put where I want you to put where you live. As you see, I live in Sacramento, California. So that's what I put in there. Now that you've done that, you'll go ahead and hit exit. It'll ask you to save it and or don't save. Uh, hit save. Okay, now in this template, you're going to get everything I have in this right here. And what it's going to consist of is all these files and widgets. And you'll see here, as you see down here, it says wallpaper. Now you could change this to any image you want on the wallpaper by... Uh, get one or if you have one and uh, renaming it wallpaper again the size is 320 by 480 and depending on the pages you have you know I think it goes up to like eight pages on the uh, iPhone you can have different pages with different icons so as you see or excuse me wallpapers so as you see here all I'd want you to do is after after you uh, found one you like and named it wallpaper the next thing find another one you like and name it page one, page two. And this is what it looked like. To give you an example of one that's done, let me go to this one here. Now, as you see here, it says page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven, and page eight. And as you see, my wallpaper is different than my pages. So that's all I would want you to do and uh, start out with page one because again in the uh, more info section you'll have this and page zero is going to be a tab. It's hard to see but you don't have to touch anything or change anything except for the pages and the wallpaper. Now if you want it, had a theme you liked, um, you could add you know, all your folders, all your bundles, your UI images, your sounds. Uh, your icons, just go ahead and put those in 
the folder that I give you and just drag and drop them or copy them in there. Everything else you don't have to touch. So the only things you're going to change if you want to change is page one through whatever and the wallpaper. Everything else leave alone. You can add your own UI sounds, images, and icons. So to show you how this works, again, I don't have this set up on my iPhone as you see here. Um, we'll go ahead and install that on there. So let me log in. And backspace once. Slide down till we get to stash. And open it up. Come over over here. And depending on where you save the link, I'll have in more info. As you know, I save everything to desktop. And I'd find the one that I have, which is Springboard. And you just drag and drop that into your themes. Now I have that in there, so I'll show you what it'll do. I go here, go to Winterboard. And as you see here is Springboard. I'm going to install it, close it out. Let Winterboard load. And as you see here, here's the wallpaper that I showed you. And this is a sample that will be in the more info section. And if you grab the tab, which will be there as well, and you slide it over, you see the wallpaper changes for the page one. And again for page two. So you could add any of these background pictures as you want, for, depending on what it is for page one through eight. Um, make your wallpaper different, as you see here. And like I said, in the configure me section, I'll have something uh, for you to put in where you live. As you see, it says Sacramento, California with the live weather and a live calendar. So again, this is just showing you how to get this. Um, you can make it and customize it any way you want. Like I said, I've taken it and taken it a little step further. As you see, I even made a lock screen on this one here with live weather right there. Um, slide it open. Put a clock on there with more live weather. But it's the same function as you see right there. See, it's the same way. So this is just showing you how to get this. Um, again, if you have any questions, please uh, message me. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to help you guys out any way possible. I know you, a lot of you people are asking about this, so this is showing you how to do it. Um, and it works. It works awesome. It's really easy to set up. And again, it's first shift. Uh, you could also follow me on Facebook, so please do that. And uh, talk to you soon, all right?